all you guys who were trying to sell me on Futu. Futu Holdings for your offshore accounts. Woo, you guys bled out. Boy, they were bleeding and bleeding and bleeding. And what did I tell y'all? As y'all was bleeding out. I told y'all. I don't know about Futu. I'm doing my research on them. And y'all was like, no, see, no, they the Robin Hood. See, you know, they the Robin Hood. And this is why I tell people go on the Patreon. This is why I say these things, because we discussed this. I was, before Robin Hood blew up, I was the first one to tell you about Robin Hood and Acorns. And I said, man, you they've actually made it fair for the little guy to make a little something. That's how much they want you to get into the market. You didn't have to have a lot of money to make some money. So I said, this is cool. Now, Futu tried to do the same thing. Futu Holdings for offshore accounts. Okay. All right. All right, thanks. Yeah, I gave the guy your money. Ah. Ah, uh, so. Ooh, my car look brand new, buddy. Brand new. My car sparkling. I got the engine clean. And I got, <laughs> and I got the car clean. Smelling like a brand new car. Mm. Ooh, wait. Look out. Big bad JoJo coming in the town. So anyway, Futu Holdings was not regulated to make some of the moves and deals that they were making, and stocks started to plummet because of it. They're going to have to pay penalties and fines, of course, <laughs> but this is what I tried to tell people before. You have to know the people you're dealing with. If you don't know the people you're dealing with, this will continuously be your outcome. Now, let's get things further in perspective. Because I want people to kind of get a, uh, a, you know, a better understanding as for what, you know, we're talking about here. Um... In society, the 2% that you're basically, depending on what 2% you're using it for, offshore accounts, a lot of people are going to panic more because they don't really know how other countries' um, regulations are. And some they didn't realize that the company wasn't regulated yet to make some of the moves that they were making. Now, this is a China-based company, uh, Futu Holdings. So when you make these type of moves and they're not regulated, you're going to take the hit. So, of course, they're going to balance things out. So they're just trying to get people to say, hey, stay with me. Don't leave. We're going to fix this. Now, for their bigger clients, yeah, they'll fix it first. They'll get it fixed first. Now, the smaller person with the offshore accounts smaller offshore accounts they might take a little hit for a while they might take them a while to recoup what they've lost but once they're regulated 
in a couple of months, then you get into Futu. Because I'm quite sure after those fines, they're going to be ready to go now. See, they wanted to build their clientele base up fast. So they weren't, re they weren't waiting for things to be regulated. It's like driving your car when you know you don't have a license yet. <laughs> but you're still driving the car. But you're a good driver. Then they pull you over for that ticket. <laughs> actually, YouTube money had nothing to do with this car. This is um, actually gambling money. Gambling money paid for this. Don't forget the super chat button works over here. Yes, feel free to use it at any time. looked at it like hey it is what it is today i'm gonna drop a video on the patreon vip that's probably the most dangerous one i put out i say that every month and it, it, and i'm still here so good nobody else, nobody in the world seen it it's a patreon only do you remember the video crazy bone did talking about the hip-hop meeting with them people in the room remember that and what they did and they planned for hip-hop and uh, private prison systems and all that. Remember Crazy Bone did that interview? Like about a year ago? Yeah, well, I give you all the names of the people that was in the room. Why they were there, how it related to the system, everything. So that's already done. The video's already done, it's going up tonight. So you wanna know why? You know what led to it? The whole nine. Because that meeting did take place. It was at someone's home in Malibu. <laughs> or near Malibu. It's all the same thing. water bottles I hate when people come in my car and leave half drink water bottles matter of fact I'm gonna take this street I used to live on this street it's weird looking at it now Did I start my YouTube 
thing here? I don't think I did. When I first started doing my YouTube videos, it, it didn't start there. It started to take off there, but that's when I was consistently doing it. So that started out here, but no. Uh, I'll take the Rams over the Packers. Uh, that's a winning pick. I don't. I gotta remember who's playing, cause I didn't bet at all yesterday. I'm like, I'm not betting these games. <laughs> Thanksgiving, I'm taking a day off. After the day before, I was so damn mad. Agree. <laughs> Kanye live last night was epic. Yeah, I know I'm gonna hear about it as soon as I go to my buddy house. I was like, I ain't gonna bother yay. But next thing you know, you do something stupid. I have to tell them. How about them Bills? The Bills who just whooped up on the Saints? <laughs> How about the Bills? I'm about this close from saying, what about the Bills? It is too many people at these damn movie theaters. I do not want to go. You should see the one I got up right now. You think that was something? You see the one I put out now about Steven Jackson. <laughs> <coughs> That's the one you need to see. What would I want to get an Xbox for? Just to look at it? They should be giving that away. My old hood, baby. I used to have everything on one street. My insurance company, everything all on one street. I mean, there's my bank, there's my grocery store, there's my insurance company. Now, shoot the hell with that. I go to the best. <laughs> I ain't settling no more. Oh, we was talking about Tupac yesterday. I'll never forget it. We was doing that yesterday. I had to talk to my friends, though, and see what's up with them.
Well, when you're reckless, you know, a lot of things happen when you start acting and performing out reckless acts, you know. So when you start taking that type of approach and you get reckless results. Now, I never cared. Now, Steven Jackson... It ain't sad. <laughs> it ain't sad when you choose it. It's sad when when it happens to somebody blindly. But when they sitting there choosing it, and shoot, it's on them. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you like this um, there's so many plays in the playbook but financially Futu Holdings is not something I would get into at this moment in time wait wait, wait till about two three months then jump in to futu holdings if you want to do some offshore because right now they they're paying a bunch of fines for what they were doing getting started and rolling before they had the regulations and everything so they got hit they was they wasn't following the rules they but hey they had to hit it when they hit it they knew they were gonna get burnt they got burnt now they're trying to fix it So hold off on food two holdings for about two months. Give it about two months, good 60 days. Then start looking into jumping into it. Might be better for you. If those people who can survive the hit and weather the storm, now they might come out better. But I don't want to take a hit <laughs> and weather the storm. I want to come on in on the windfall. I don't need nothing dropping. So wait about 60 days before you start jumping back in or jumping into Futu Holdings. If you, everybody's calling it the China, China Robin Hood, I would hold off. I warned y'all before, you should have listened. I told y'all about Robin Hood and Acorns way in the beginning that, hey, you should, guys should go into this. If you was on the Patreon, you already know we've had these discussions. So I got to get out of here. I'll holler at y'all. Deuces.